Protecting the environment and fighting climate change is the top priority for the Swedish government. So all Swedish embassies all over the world, we have a mission to advocate these important matters. So it was natural for us to look at a way to uh, inspire consumers and producers in the Philippines to uh, be more uh, uh, environmentally friendly when it comes to a fashion industry. In the in in Sweden and part of the Nordics, it's really that's the way of life. Yes, of course. And how is it imparting it to this side of the world? Sorry. How is it imparting it to Asia, to the Philippines, for that matter? Is what, it hard? Are there challenges? Uh, well, I I have found we've had this exhibition for six months, almost yeah, six months now in the Philippines, and the response has been very positive. We've been at the Metropolitan Museum for five months and then we moved it to another place and now we're here at the SM Megabon. And the fact that we are being asked to go to new places, we're even going to Cebu soon, shows that there's a great interest uh, regarding these issues. And, and we saw Pinatex, which is a uh, textile that's coming from the Philippines, yeah. right? Yeah. It, how do you feel about you know these sorts of uh, materials popping out from different parts of the world? Well, I'm happy to, of course, to see that uh, uh, some of this, these materials are sourced from the Philippines. And uh, uh, the important thing is that uh, uh, raw materials are chosen uh, with the environment as a, a major element in the decision making. Uh, you've been doing this as a way of life in your part of the world for the longest time now. Do, do you see that the Philippines can follow suit sometime in the near future, maybe? Of course, and that is why we have uh, come with this exhibition, which was uh, curated in Sweden. So we brought it here to show what the Swedish fashion industry has done to work more environmentally friendly. And uh, we, we want to inspire Filipinos to, uh, to do the same thing, both and consumers to ask for this, and the producers to think about the, their own uh, choice of materials, production, distribution, and so on. And from, but where is the biggest challenge in this uh, ecosystem that you're seeing about uh, gearing towards sustainable fashion? Well, I think uh, you should ask the fashion industry where they find the biggest challenges. I mean, there are so many ways to improve okay. the whole cycle from choosing raw material all the way to for the consumers to buy second hand, reuse and so on. So there's so many ways, but what the biggest challenge is uh, ask the fashion industry itself yeah. and uh, they can tell you. And how about, uh, of course now you invited Patisse de Soro. Yeah. How do you find her as a designer and of course her legacy in the Philippine fashion industry? Well, you can, uh, anyone can look for themselves to see how beautiful things she's making and she's uh, doing it sustainably. So it's a wonderful combination. Beauty and sustainability together is fantastic. I'm very happy that, that she wanted to join us. Thank you.